Hi guys, it's uh, Sarah, Deceptive Depictions, um, here. And, um, I just, th this video is going to be quick. I just basically wanted to, uh, share something with you. Um, I'm sh I recently bought the Doom 3 BFG edition off of Steam. Um, and I encountered this lovely issue when I set it up. Um, this isn't a screenshot of my desktop, but, um, it's the closest I could find to my own. Um, with the issue unable to initialize OpenGL. Now, there is actually a really, really simple fix for this. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to Google. Well, actually, no, first you want to, um, I have my thing set up a little differently, so you'll probably end up opening up the search bar at the bottom of the start page there. You want to do it, like open up your search, and then type in DX, D-I-A-G, um, hit enter, and then it'll bring up this page. You want to go to, now, keep in mind yours might look a little different from mine. Um, you want to open up this page here, this display tab, and take note of your um, graphics card driver. Uh, mine's just an onboard graphics card driver on my laptop. Um, so we are looking for an Intel HD graphics card. So you want to type that in. Intel HD graphics driver. Ah. And most of you are probably going to be running Windows 7. Um, so add in Windows 7. Or if you're running something older than Windows 7, um, you want to type that in. Or if you're running Windows 8, um, basically instead of Windows 7, you want to just put in your operating system there. This only works on Windows computers as far as I know. I don't know if it works on Mac or Li Mac or Linux yet. But, um, so you want to go through and basically, um, find your driver set. Um, and scroll down, um, and basically track down the most up-to-date driver for your system like for your graphics card, um, it could be, it really, de it really depends, um, like, NVIDIA has their own sets, I don't know how often NVIDIA or ATI Radeon release, um, new updates for their drivers, but the thing is, um, Windows drivers, um, like the Windows drivers updates doesn't ever really seem to work properly. Um, you're basically, you're getting your drivers after, um, like, a significant amount of time after they're actually released. So, if you're having OpenGL issues, you want to update to the newest drivers, um, manually. Um, so once you update, it'll probably want you to reboot your system and blah blah blah. So reboot your system and then you should be able to just run it. That was loud. I don't know if you guys will hear that, but um, I have custom sounds on my system, so. But yeah, um, and then it should just run. Let's see. See? And then. Yeah, I'm not gonna bother going through the whole title screen, but um, you should be able to just um, basically run it from there. Um, if. If you still have problems with it, um, there's something you can put, um, and basically you go, you open up your Steam library, right click on the game, and go to properties, and set launch options, um, there's something you type in this box, I can't remember exactly what it is, um, but I will put it in the description below, um, and then it should work, um, I'm sure at least one of you have probably Googled the solution and come up with um, this option where you like set a desktop shortcut. Um, yes, I know. And then you uh, just, just rename it. Or no, not, not rename, sorry. You go properties and then um, you like you you change where is it 
Um, you, you change basically where it's linking to, um, and you add something to that, like it's like R uh, plus R windowed mode um, 1 or something like that, or 3 I think. Um, that doesn't seem to work for most people, uh, for some it might, so it's always worth a shot. But um, basically what's happening is um, y uh, you have to, I guess you could say, force um, Doom to run in windowed mode in order for it to work properly. Um, because St Steam did a very sloppy port of the game. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully that fixed the issues for at least some of you guys, um, it's, it's really simple, and I was honestly kicking myself in the face, um, when I finally figured out the solution, um, but yeah. Oh, also, um, as you can see, I have plenty of fun Doom game or, um, Steam games, so I will be doing playthroughs of some of these, um, I also have Duke Nukem 3D, um, and then Wolfenstein 3D as well, so I'm hoping to do some playthroughs of some of those. Um, yeah, that should be about it for this one. Um, I hope it helped at least somebody out there. Um, if not, um, give me your specific situation, um, in the comments, and I can see what I can do to sort of help you along. Um, it actually took me three days to think of this. Yes, I know. Um, there is one thing that I noticed. Um, when you're actually running Doom 3 itself, not just anything in the BFG edition, I'm gonna load it up here. Um, I should probably mess with my audio settings so you guys can hear me. Come on. Now my computer's lagging. There we go. Um, there we go. Let's let it get through that. Um, but basically, um, Doom 3 itself in the BFG edition seems to lag really badly. Um, and the funny thing is, Doom 3 as a standalone game on my system um, doesn't lag at all. I can play it like max graphics, max everything. Um, I mean, I have no trouble running a lot of games. Like, I can run... Um, I mean, I have a little bit of video stutter on... Um, like... Um, killing floor when the game gets really intense, but aside from that, I have no problems with it. Um, BFG, Doom 3 BFG Edition, like when you're actually playing Doom 3 itself, it doesn't affect Doom 1 or 2, um, but Doom 3, it seems to lag a little bit, um, so you do need a slightly, and, and the funny thing is my system definitely exceeds the, uh, bare minimum require, like the minimum requirements to run it, um, by, a significant amount. Um, but yeah, that's just something, I guess, to keep in mind. Um, other than that, it's well worth it, because you get, um, not only do you get Doom 1, 2, and 3, you get, like, um, all sorts of expansions and shit for it, so it's a lot of fun. Um, if, and if you've never played the Doom series before, um, whether you're a casual gamer or, like, hardcore into gaming, it's fun. You should try it. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for this one, um, and I will see you guys later. Bye-bye!